Hey everybody, Coach Joe here from Varsity House Gym. Just want to give everybody a quick update, kind of let everybody know where we're at with the gym and the reopening and some of the stuff that's going on here. And, uh, you know, the theme for this month, we're calling it resiliency. You know, just working our butts off, everybody, you know, doing their best to stay focused, stay positive, and keep providing you, our amazing community, with great content, workouts, live videos, and everything that we can to keep you and your families, you know, healthy and sane during this unprecedented time. So couple key things I want to talk to you about. First one is, is just thank you. You know, we really appreciate all the people who value their relationship with Varsity House and have continued to pay their memberships and such. It really means the world to us and, you know, it definitely won't be forgotten. And uh, we thank you for that. And we, we, you've allowed us to keep our employees working, allowed us to keep the lights on and keep our business viable. So, you know, we can't thank you enough and we're super humble and appreciative to that. Next thing is our virtual events. You know, the virtual events have been a really great, you know, fun way for all of us to stay connected, you know, and to continue to do positive things um, for great, you know, great causes and communities like our Mission Essential May and donating money to the Stephen Siller Tunnels to Power Foundation. It's just a great way to, to help out people who are helping us at this time. So again, thank you very much for your time, effort, and energy. And last but not least is the survey. You know, we, we put out a survey because we really want to get you know, your feedback as to what you think would be the best practices for us to reopen with and what's going to make you feel comfortable coming back here to the gym. So, you know, so many of you wrote in some great, some great ideas, some great concerns. I've emailed a lot of you personally and individually, and we are 100% listening and taking note of everything that you're saying. And we are making a, man, a giant spreadsheet with every comment, every response, and me and the team are going to go through every one of those and make sure that we do our best to, to, to answer them all and, and do the absolute max that we can do here to provide you with a safe and, and, and ethically responsible you know, environment to train in. Okay? Next is the memberships. We've addressed this issue a few times, but I just want to make sure that everybody understands you know, kind of exactly what we're doing. If you're an adult member here you know, you know, our, and you've stayed and you've continued to pay your membership, we're going to buy it back from you. So the second those doors open, you're gonna get your first month back, right? And, and $15 a week as a credit on your membership going forward for 10 months. So, you know, if I owe you $200, we're gonna take $20 off your membership for two for 10 months and, and pay you that discount back. So that's something that we've spoken to you about. And if you have any questions about that, please feel free to write me and, and, or call me and I will help you, you know, uh, with any questions you might have. If you're an athlete of ours, and you paid for a spring block already, we're gonna credit you that time onto your account. So whether it's the summer block, the fall block, or a combination of summer and fall, right, you're 100% gonna get that time back uh, in, in any way that you can as an athlete. Now, if for some reason you can't use that time and you paid that, well, that credit's good for anything else here. So if you had $250 in credit for Team DH, and you wanna send a different child, or you wanna come in yourself and train, then we're gonna honor your credit uh, for the spring block of training that you gave us, okay? The next thing is, is stay connected, right? As part of your membership, we've opened up the doors to everybody to be part of our Varsity House Fitness Portal. And we have created a great website, varsityhousefitness.com backslash week of wellness, and that's where we're putting everything. So whether you're following along with us live, or getting on a live coaching call with one of our coaches, you could always go back to the fitness portal and open up a workout, live workouts, specialty workouts, daily wads, nutrition tips, everything that we've done during this time is in that portal and it's there for you, our great members, to use and for your families and friends to use as well. It's completely free, there's no additional charges. You know, spread the DH love and get everybody as healthy and fit as possible, okay? If you're a member, then you should be in the member, you know, private members Facebook page. And that's where we're putting all the live workouts and that's where they go first, right? And it's also a great way to stay connected to the community. If you're having any issues with either of those, with the Week of Wellness Fitness page or the private membership group, just let us know and we'll get you set up and help you get through it, okay? I did a couple of videos that I posted about our sanitation practices. If I could show you the gym as a panorama right now, it's the cleanest the gym has ever been probably even before we opened, right? I mean, we have cleaned this gym from top to bottom. Every rafter, every fan, every nook and cranny has been cleaned and disinfected from top to bottom. Now, we've always had really great sanitary practices here, and we've always had a professional company cleaning the gym since, since way back in the day. 
okay? But we're taking that, you know, to another level. And we've created a whole new set of sanitary protocols and what we're calling our sanitary promise, right, which is our community code of conduct and how we're gonna, uh, uh, you know, kind of conduct business for the next foreseeable future, right? All that information is gonna be in, is here in the email below, right, and you can click on the documents and check it out and read through that carefully, which I highly recommend. And we're also gonna put it in the group for all of you to follow. But some of those things are gonna be just, you know, splitting the gym up into smaller, you know, areas called pods in which limited numbers of people will be in. We're reducing the class sizes for our, for our group classes. We're reducing the, the volume of classes in general. And we're really gonna help social distance, space people out, give you your own equipment as much as possible, right? We're gonna limit the amount of people that can get into the facility at any one time. So there'll be some basic protocols there that we'll all have to adapt to and follow in the next coming weeks as the reopening process begins, right? We're really, really, really focused on just continuing to do what we do best. And that's coach, mentor, and lead you to a better version of yourself. That's my number one goal, is to continue to help you and your families in this great community that's supported us do what we do best. And that's coach and have fun and, and get fit, okay? So the, the basic protocols and all the little details of leading up to, to, to the reopening, right, are less of a concern than making sure that we continue to provide you with the absolute best, you know, training experience that you can be, that, that, that is available around, and that we're doing it in a safe and smart and ethically, you know, a sound way, right? Okay? Last but not least, in order to come back to Varsity House and begin to train here, you will have to download your own Mind Body app. All sessions will have to be booked ahead of time. You will no longer be allowed to just walk into the facility and hang out before or after training sessions you know, in order to come to a class. You're going to have to book your space in a class, spaces will be limited, and you will have to book ahead, and only if you're booked into a class will you be allowed to enter the facility, okay? So it's really important that if you want to get going again with your fitness, that you download the app. Now, below is a step-by-step -step guide to getting the app up and running. Now, one of the most important things of that is A, downloading the app, Right? And then be going in and making sure that your contact information and our ability to contact you via text and email is, is activated and correct. Right? You must have an active, up-to-date account in order to book sessions through the MindBody app. If, you're, if your account is not up-to-date or active, right? if you're on pause or inactive, you will not be allowed to book sessions. So if you want to get back to fitness here with us at Boston House, you got to download the Mind Body app, get that updated, and get ready to rock and roll. Any, any, at any point in any of these gangs, right, if you need help with anything, you can email me at joe at varsityhousegym.com or email the info app. You can email any one of the coaches. We're here to help any way we, any way we can. So let's, let's make the next few weeks before the reopening as good as they could possibly be. Let's stay connected. Let's stay super active in the Facebook group ask questions, be present in the community, and keep moving. That's the key, right? Movement is medicine. Stay moving, stay fit, stay healthy, and stay positive. And as soon as we can, we're going to get you back in here, ready to rock and roll, ready to have some fun, back to the great training that we're known for. And I can't wait to see everybody. So I'm pumped and excited to see you. I hope everybody has a great week, and I'll talk to everybody soon.